Today we're going to check out this XKA430, which is a fully ready to fly micro, brushless, and gyro stabilized airplane that looks a lot like an extra 300. Under the cowling is a micro brushless motor and a 300 milliamp hour 2 cell lipo battery. It's already all set up and bound with the transmitter, so all you need to do is supply some batteries. And it also comes with a charger and a bag of goodies. Because it's gyro stabilized, it's really easy to fly. You just hold the stick all the way over and it'll hold a nice coordinated 30 degree turn for you. Okay, so all this has been the, uh, what do they call it, 6G mode? The mode with limited bank angle that's full left aileron and it just holds a nice coordinated like 30 degree left banking turn. And then if I let go, it just levels itself and flies straight. You can just fly it with one stick and power. You can also do rudder turns or rudder and aileron turns, which I guess is a skidding turn, but in this airplane it helps to turn faster. As long as you're not too slow, it shouldn't spin. But you can click the stick and now it's in gyro stabilized, but not auto leveling. And you can, whoo, wow, that's precise. Okay. So if you just leave it, it's gonna try to hold a certain attitude. All right, all right, all right. Anyways, you can really get crazy. Let's see if I can do a knife edge. Oh yeah? Oh, knife edge, oh. Oh my God, it's fast. For beginners, it does want to fly really fast, which can seem a little bit intimidating. But if you bring the power all the way back and hold the stick all the way back, it will slow down to a slow flight condition, and then you can fly it around with full aft elevator and using power to control the altitude. Definitely do coordinated aileron turns during slow flight. All right, that's hands off. A little bit of power. Well, now it just flies itself under power. All right, so as long as you get it slowed down and there might be a little bit of headwind, it will land pretty short and easy. My biggest complaints about the XK planes in general have to do with the gyro stabilization features. Yes, they're awesome and they work great, but I do wish that the maximum bank angle in 6G mode could be increased a little bit, because sometimes the rate of turn is a little bit slow, I think, especially for avoiding obstacles. The second complaint I had is that I wish 3D mode was just an unassisted manual mode instead of gyro stabilized. I think the stabilization kind of messes with some of the airplane's natural characteristics and makes it a little bit harder to fly in my opinion. For example, when you make a bank, you'd expect the nose to start to slip down sideways because that's what an airplane would do, but then the gyro tries to hold the same attitude and like fly a knife edge for you and it just kind of confuses me a little bit. Anyways, thanks for watching.